What's up? What do you want here? I saw a dinosaur! You saw a dinosaur? Let me see it. Ask him what kind of What is it? It's a brachiosaurus! Wow. Wow, he knows there's dinosaurs, bro. Get back to me. My name's Steven DJ Nugget Pierre. Uh, been DJing for about 12, 13 years now. Other than DJing, um, I currently own a DJ wedding company, I'm part owner actually, uh, it's called Diverse Weddings, um, where we cater just to, you know, like high-end wedding events, corporate events, Sweet 16, stuff like that. All right, so right now, we're at the Prince and Princess Ball, a little event that I do every year, it's a charity for kids. Um, you know, we have all the kids come out dressed up like little princesses and princesses. And princes, it's real hard to say that. Prince and princesses. We there we the go. Uh, they come out, they eat food, they have a good time, they party. And then uh, then we send them home to their parents afterwards. And, you know, that's it. It's like a little nice charity event that I do every year. Yeah, no more problem. Yeah, what did you say about the poopy one the other day? Poopy. If they did poopies, would you go do? I'll take a, a thing. Would you say you go wait for me to come home? I would know. If you if you on your way home, say you got like 15 minutes on the way home, and my child shits. And by the time my child get a diaper rash. No, like 15 minutes is not a diaper rash. That's a diaper rash. But what I'm going to do is when you open the door, be like, yo, he just shit. Just shit. Perfect timing. Yeah, okay. Take care of that. But it'd be like 15 minutes ago. I wouldn't leave it there for like a half hour. We are like, leaving once him. That, that's not true. I walk tired. my poor child. I walk tired. This is our child, and he hardly even. I won't tell you about two, three times a day. Yeah. At least once a day. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. It's Mango. That's a residual value. Stellar. What about the ride? Who is this tonight? The swallow on the Ganges? Life of the cell. He gets like a fro. He don't usually have. Remember? He don't usually have such a. Put it back. Put it back. He don't usually have no assortment of liquor, though. Show JoJo the tricks I told you today. Ready? Stay. My personal family right now includes my fiance, who we are soon to get married next year, uh, Josephine, and my Shih Tzu, Taz. Um, those two I'd do anything for. Completely spoiled people as well in my life. Um, my girl asks for anything, she gets it. One thing I like about her is that she, uh, at the same time, like with me, she, like she knows she can get anything. I can leave her five hundred dollars on the table, and I'll come home, and there'll be like groceries in the in the fridge. There'll be like, uh, you know, curtains up. It won't be like she bought anything for herself. That's why she's a keeper, and that's why she's not going anywhere in my life. That's a good girl. Right there. <laughs> One of my biggest. Biggest, biggest uh, addictions right now. I'm not really big into drugs or drinking or anything like that. If you come see me in the club, I'm typically just really relaxed and having a good time spinning music. I don't drink that much. But sneakers, huge addiction. A new sneaker comes out, and it feels like everything in my body pulls me to go get those new pair of sneakers. No matter if it's Jordans, Foam Posits, or Bo Jacksons, or whatever the case may be, I'm a big sneaker head. I got started pretty much in the game, uh, influenced by my father, uh, who was playing music as well, and I just fell in love with it. And that's pretty much what like started like the, the whole DJ Nunya trend, as we can say. So, that's how it goes down. DJ Nunya, LaFair, we here. Alright. <laughs>